I've been getting a lot of requests to make a video on this lanyard. It's called the chain link and I'll be showing you how to make it in this video. A quick note before we get started, I have a brand new Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash lanyards. Definitely go visit and say hello. I'd love to hear from you. Now the chain link. This starts with four wall stitches. The wall stitch is the, the three by one lanyard. And then it breaks off into two square stitches. And we do 15 of those on each side. Then we reattach those square stitches with a wall stitch. We do another wall stitch on top of that. And then we do a third wall stitch, but the third wall stitch is actually perpendicular to the first and second wall stitches, which is how we have these, these two square stitches that are perpendicular to these first two. So we make that, that perpendicular wall stitch and then one more wall stitch on top of that. So four wall stitches in total, the first two, then the perpendicular one, and the one on top of the perpendicular one. And then we do another 15 square stitches on each side. And we keep going with that same pattern. So we take those two square stitches, recombine them into a wall stitch, do another wall stitch, then do the perpendicular wall stitch and a wall stitch on top of that. Then 15 square stitches on each side. Then we recombine them in a wall stitch, do another wall stitch, then a perpendicular wall stitch. One more wall stitch, 15 square stitches. And then we do two wall stitches and the finishing wall stitch. And I'll be showing you how to do all of this in the video. Let's get started. You'll need two pieces of gimp that are both five feet long and two pieces of gimp that are both four feet long. For my lanyard, my two five foot long pieces are both purple. And for my four foot long pieces, one is blue and one is turquoise. You of course can choose all four different colors. You can make your two four foot long pieces the same color. But for mine, I'm making my longer pieces the same color and my shorter pieces different colors. Take one of your four foot long pieces and bend it at its center. Drop it over your finger, take the strand at the back, and wrap it around to make a second loop. Take one of your five foot long pieces and bend it at its center. Drop it over your finger to the left of the two loops that you already have. Take the strand at the back and wrap it around to make a second loop. So now there's four loops in total. If you'd like to add a key ring to this lanyard, pull the front strand of your second piece of gimp through the key ring and drop it over the back of your finger so it rests on that loop at the bottom of your finger. Take your other four foot long piece of gimp and bend it at its center. Drop it over your finger to the left of the four loops that you already have. Take the strand at the back and wrap it around to make another loop. So now you should have six loops in total and the pattern should be the same going from one side to the other. So going from right to left, there's a strand hanging off, then a loop, then a strand, then a loop, and a strand, and a loop. Make sure you have that same pattern going from right to left. Take your other 
five foot long piece of gimp and run it under all six of the loops on your finger. and pull it through until you reach its center. Take the strand on the left and bring it across to the right going over under, over under, over under keeping it on the top of your finger. and then pull it through. Then take the strand on the right and bring it across to the left going over under, over under, over under the loops keeping it on the bottom of your finger. and pull it through. Then slowly take the whole thing off of your finger and tighten the strands. And now you've started. Do three wall stitches on top of that starting stitch. I'll show you the first of the three. Take the longer strands and bring them straight across the lanyard. And then take each of the shorter strands and bring them across to the other side going over and under the long strands. We'll start with this shorter one on the top right and bring it across to the left. So over this longer strand and then under this longer strand. Then we'll take this one on the left, we'll go over this longer strand and under this longer strand.
and then tighten the strands. And do two more of those. You can see I have my first four stitches, the starting wall stitch, that first loop, and then the second, third, and fourth loop are the, the three wall stitches after the starting stitch, so four stitches in total. And we're ready for the next part, which is where we take our wall lanyard and divide it into two separate square stitches. The wall, of course, uses eight strands, but a square stitch uses four. And so we can take our eight strands and turn them into two separate square stitches, each using four of the strands. And we will be dividing it in half. So if, if we look at it this way, over here we'll have one square stitch and over here we'll have a different square stitch. So it's clear that this longer strand all the way on the left will be part of the left square stitch. The next two closest strands are these turquoise ones. And then in the middle we have these two purple strands. This one on the bottom is just a little bit closer to to these three strands. So these four strands that I'm holding in my left hand will make the square stitch on the left. If we look on the right, this longer purple strand is of course all the way on the right, and then we have these two blue strands. Oops. Here we go. These two blue strands. And then in the middle, this purple strand up here is to the right side of this purple strand, so we'll take it to go on the square stitch on the right. When you're making these two square stitches, the two strands in the middle are going to act like they are across from the strands on the outside. So we'll start with the, the square stitch on the right and you'll see what I mean. Take the, the longer strand and bring it across and then take this strand in the middle and bring it across to the other side so that it's parallel to the, the longer strand that you brought across to the left. And then just complete it like a square stitch. So the strand on the, the bottom left goes across to the top. And this strand on the top right comes down. Now let's do the square stitch on the left. We'll bring this longer strand across to the right. and this strand here in the middle of the lanyard will bring it across to the left parallel with that longer strand. We'll take this turquoise strand on the bottom left and bring it across and we'll take the turquoise strand on the top and bring it down. Gonna loosen this a bit. And 
and then we'll tighten the strands. And that is how you turn a wall stitch into two square stitches. Do 14 additional square stitches on each side. I'll show you the first of the 14. So we'll start on the left and bring this strand at the top down, we'll bring this strand at the bottom up, and then bring the strands on the left and right across, going over and under those two strands. Now let's do the one on the right. and then tighten the strands. and do 13 more of those on each side. Let's count these stitches on this side. So each loop is one stitch. And I'm counting the, the blue loops. One, two, three, four. Those were the original four wall stitches. Then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19 minus the four original is 15. So it's 15 square stitches on top of the original four wall stitches. I'll count on the other side in turquoise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we're ready for the next step. We need to reattach our two square stitches into a wall stitch. And we'll use the strands from our square stitches to do that. These outside strands will act like the long strands in the wall stitch. These two strands on the left will be the left two strands. 
these two strands on the right will be the right two strands. And for our middle two strands, we'll use the two strands on the inside of the square stitches. On the right square stitch, the inside strand is on the bottom left, and on the left square stitch, the inside strand is on the top right. This first one, the one on the bottom left, this will go up like that. This one on the top right will come down like that. And this will make more sense in a second when I show you the, the full stitch. And actually, let's do that right now. Start by bringing the outside strands across. And then the other six strands will go over and under these two strands. Let's start on the left. And now the middle two. So again, this will come down this way. This one will go up that way. Here you can see it from the other side. And we'll continue with the right two strands. and tighten the strands. Do another wall stitch on top of that.
Now that we have our two wall stitches up here, we are going to make a wall stitch to change directions. To do this, we will take our two middle strands and make them the long strands of the wall stitch. And we'll use these two strands up here to be the two strands on this part of the wall stitch, because the wall stitch will be going this way, perpendicular to the current one. And these two strands on the outside will become the middle strands. And these two strands will be the strands on this part of the wall, the wall stitch here. That'll make more sense once you see it. So let's start by bringing these middle strands across. And then let's turn this to the side. Okay, so we've taken our middle strands across and then we'll take this strand on the top left and bring it down going over and under those middle strands. Then we'll take this strand on the bottom left and bring that up. Then we'll take this long strand at the top and bring it down. Bring this bottom strand up. Bring this top right strand down. And lastly, bring this strand on the bottom right up. and tighten the strands. Because we changed directions, this wall stitch is going to look a little different for the first one. Do another wall stitch on top of that one.
And now we are back to a more regular looking wall stitch. Let's take this wall stitch and turn it into two square stitches. Got a little twist there, so I'm going to fix this. There we go. And do 14 more square stitches on each side. Counting from here, the first four loops, one, two, three, four, those are the first two wall stitches and then the two wall stitches where we changed the angle. One, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen loops. So four wall stitches and fifteen square stitches should be the same on the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 on the top now we're ready to reattach the two square stitches again into a wall stitch We will reattach them just like we did the first time.
make another wall stitch on top of that one. And we'll do another turnaround wall stitch. and do one more wall stitch on top of that.
Now turn your wall into two separate square stitches, just like we did the last two times, and then do 14 additional square stitches on each side, so that with the, the first one, you have 15 in total. Once you have 15 square stitches on each side, reconnect the two sides to make a wall stitch, just like you did here and here. Then make another wall stitch on top of that one. Then do a turnaround wall stitch. And do another wall stitch on top of the turnaround wall stitch. That's four wall stitches in total. The first wall stitch to connect the two square stitches, then a wall stitch on top of that, then the turnaround wall stitch, and a wall stitch on top of that. And now you are ready to once again turn your wall stitch into two square stitches. Do 14 square stitches on top of those starting square stitches on each side. Once you have 15 square stitches on each side, reconnect them with a wall stitch. Make another wall stitch on top of that one. We'll do a finishing wall stitch on top of those two wall stitches. Before tightening the strands, bring them around the loop next to them and then up through one of the holes in the center. So these three strands will come up through this hole, this strand here and this strand here will come up through this hole and these three strands will come up through this hole.
And now you're ready to tighten your strands. Then cut off the strands so that you just have a little bit at the end. Now there's one more step. These links in the chain have a rectangular shape to them. And we're going to make them more of a circular shape. To do that you need to take a cylindrical object, or in our case four cylindrical objects, and put one through each of the links to give it a circular shape. I'll be using markers so I'll feed it through like that And you'll want to leave that for 24 hours before taking the markers out. It's been 24 hours and I've taken my markers out. You can see that the links have a much more circular shape. And that is it for the chain link.